do is we're back in the video. Today we're building the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. And because it's such a big set, I'm going to just dive right into the intro section of the video. So it's set number 75192. It's Falcon made for ages 16 up and comes with 7,541 pieces. It comes with 10 minifigures from, the, from five from the newer movies and five from the older movies. BB-8, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Finn, Rey, CP-3O, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and two Porgs. You'll see the dimensions of the Falcon on, um, on the screen right now. But I'm not going to tell you them because it'll just add to the video. And we've already got a really long video on our hands. So, I think we should open the setup and see what's inside. So, cutting I've wanted to do for months. So, I got the set open and it kind of opens up. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a long week. So, I'm trying to say it was like a... I'm just going to move on from what I was going to say. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's binded. And it's huge. It's heavy, too. I put it on the floor. Ugh. Okay, we've also got a giant palette of stickers. And if I pull this, like, thing finding, like, Amazon box out... Oh, it's got a little quote. She's the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. In this box, we got all of these bags. It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. And that would be all. So let's take this oversized instruction booklet in 7,500 plus pieces and build the ultimate collector series Millennium Falcon. So, three, two, one, time lapse.
After 21 hours, 23 minutes, and 33 seconds of building, this giant set is completed. And it's so detailed, we have to start right now if we're going to get through it all. So, um, let's go ahead and review it. In total, there are 10 minifigures. These four, cp 3 Chewbacca, Princess Leia, and Han Solo, are from the fifth movie. These four minifigures, which you can include Chewbacca in, are from The Force Awakens. They are BB-8, Rey, Finn, and the older version of Han Solo. The set comes with three creatures. They are a Minoc and two Porgs. Here it is, the UCS Millennium Falcon. It is so big that I'm not going to be able to review this. I'm just going to have to scan over and show you things just off of as I see them. So let's start with the middle. There's a big gunner area with a disc that can't be pulled up, which is strange. There's these giant air vents in the back. The creature I forgot his name of. There's a ton of those poles and those pyramids on the back. And on the side, it's just incredible how detailed it is. There's a few panels that can be pulled up, which I will open to see the inside. There's also a hole with gaps in it, filled with all sorts of weird things for detail, like droid body parts. There's a billion, like, poles and things. It's incredible. Of course, you can take out the solar panel to change it out with the Force Awakens one, and also you can change that out at the front. There's some lights at the front. I can't exactly move it because how heavy it is. I'd say it weighs as much as... I'd say it weighs 10 pounds. It's insane. Um... Everything down to the cockpit on top of it. It's so detailed. They use these telephones all over the place. More of those poles. And then on the sides. It's just... It's just so detailed, even for the smallest of things. Like, they had to build a disc, but they spent hours and hours designing this on it and then if we go to the underneath you'll see there's even more details like those holes which are on top and you don't even see the underneath but they didn't stop there they still put just detail detail it didn't like as much as the top there are plates but they still didn't stop there They've also got a really detailed legs on this. For perspective, um, the entire bad two was making those legs. And then another gunner area down there. And now I think we'll open it up and show you the inside. By removing these panels, you can open up the inside to show the same area with the table I cannot pronounce. All sorts of details in there. A little chair. And look at you don't even see that a lot, but they didn't stop there. They made it three-dimensional look like hallways. They've got the chairs, the floor, whatever those are. And look, they made, like, custom pieces for something you probably won't see. And then we come over to this, like, storage area. It's got the power generator, a hallway that leads into, like, a room. Sorry about the jerkiness of the camera. There's a bunch of, uh 
storage tubes. And you can actually you can pull that up. Another one of those hallways. Another control desk. A wheel. All sorts of weird stuff. And it's just so detailed. So now that we've seen the inside, let's change it out for the Force Awakens gear, as I'm going to call it. Here is the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon. There is almost no difference except for the solar panel, which is not a disc. It's more of a uh, giant plate, which is super detailed. I'm going to say detailed like a million times. And then we also have got these pieces that attach in the front on top of those. I, I don't know if they're Technic, I don't know if they're Brick. What do you call them? And then those can just snap on and snap off. Here is the Millennium Falcon plaque. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, Carillion, Light Frighter, YT-1300 series, modified by Han Solo. I'm probably going to get a lot of these words wrong. Manufacturer, Carillion Engineering Corporation. Length, 34.75 meters. Engines, Duradyne SRB42 sublight drives. Maximum speed, 1,050 kilometers an hour in atmosphere. Hyperdrive system, Class 0.5 ISU SIM, SSP05 hyperdrive, 2SEC AG, 2G, Quad laser cannons, one Blastec AX-108 ground buzzer blaster cannon, two arachnoid ST-2 concussion missile tubes, and capacity, two pilots, six passengers, and 100 metric tons of cargo. So if you enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're brand new, and definitely consider hitting that bell so you miss a video coming out of videos every Monday. If it is red, make it gray, like the falcon, and I'll see you guys next week, so goodbye.